Oh, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio channel. Now, what I thought I'd do, just for fun, was uh, fire up that uh, little variable voltage switch mode power supply, that one there, that I bought yesterday, and see what sort of effect it has on a HF radio. So I've got my 857, um, currently connected to a battery. Battery's well charged, 12.3 volts on there. Um, I've got about a meter of copper strap as the uh, as the antenna there. If I turn the volume up, it's actually the WIA news there uh, down in the noise. But uh, as I say, the radio is not connected to an antenna. It's only connected to this one meter copper strap here uh, as an antenna. So let's turn the uh, and I've got uh, I've got the power supply loaded to about three and a half amps at uh, thirteen point eight volts or around thirteen point eight volts. So let's switch it on. Didn't make any difference. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, I can just hear some stuff coming up in the background now. Come on, focus, you can do it. There we go. Should be able to see that's about 13.8 volts. About yeah, three and a half amps, three three point three amps, something like that. Go back to the S meter. Got a six of noise there on twenty meters. Just turn the power supply off. Sorry about this auto focus, but there's not much I can do about that. And the noise on uh, the noise on 20 meters drops back to about S3. So that's you know, as far as sort of radiating noise goes. That's that's probably not bad. Um, for a budget variable uh, voltage switch mode power supply at that distance from the uh, from the radio, that's not bad at all. So on 14 on 14.2, oh I don't know there, sort of AGC's taking a bit of time to settle down. We've got nothing, got no noise at all. Let's turn the power supply on. That's sorting itself out. And it's putting about, I don't know, S7, is that? S7 of noise on 20 metres. There's no noise indicated on 40 metres. We'll turn the power supply off. Well, that's surprisingly, uh, surprisingly good. So it looks like I could have the, uh, I could have the switch mode power supply running in the uh, in the workshop or the shack, whatever you want to call it, um, with uh, HF radio on 40 meters, and it's not going to make any difference to it. Um, I doubt I could run the radio on it. I'll try that in a sec. But um, f uh, 20 meters, it looks like it uh, it kicks up a bit of noise. Um, let's try it on VHF. I wouldn't expect it to do anything with VHF at all. Turn the power supply on. And uh, yeah, there you go. So you can see the power supply 
is on. As expected, no difference whatsoever. Mm. Yeah, bit of noise there. S5, S5 noise on uh, on six meters. Yeah, being generated by the power supply. I've just switched the power supply off, and uh, that noise has disappeared. Switch it back on. Yeah, and there it is. S5 noise again. So to be honest, that's not that's not as bad as uh, that's not as bad as I expected for uh, a budget uh, switch mode power supply. That's the uh, the MP three eight zero zero from JCar. Now just for fun, when we <laughs> when will the fun ever stop? Um, I'm going. I'll I'll run the radio off the switch mode power supply, and I expect that to be uh, pretty grim. But uh, you know, no your luck. Let's try it. My knees here, so I'm just knelt on something sticking in the carpet. I mean, let's face it, it would be a, wouldn't be an amateur radio video without. Uh, oh, hang on a sec. Let's connect it back to the battery and turn it off. Wouldn't be an amateur radio video if it wasn't amateurish, would it? Let's be honest. Okay. Right, so now I've connected the power supply. To the 857. Mm. And you can probably see there's S8 noise there, S7, S8 noise being generated uh, by the power supply. So if I run the 857 on the uh, on the little power supply there, come and focus, you can do it, you know you want to focus. Okay, so on six meters, unusable. Uh, what's that, the broadcast band? Uh, oh, okay. Could probably use it to listen to uh, broadcast radio. Doesn't seem to be too much of a problem with aircraft. And no problem with... No problem with two metres. <laughs> Sounding in pain on, uh, on six metres. Look at that, 9 plus plus on, uh, on 10 metres. 24 megs, unusable. 21, unusable. 9 plus. Unusable on 18. Unusable on 20 metres, although the noise is actually coming down slightly. <laughs> 10 megs. About S6. 40 meters S6. Although surprisingly, you can still hear the WIA news in the background on that one meter of uh, on that one meter of copper uh, copper uh, copper braid that I've got uh, stuffed into the antenna socket on the 857. That's interesting. So there we go. So the J car MP3800. Um, forget about it for running your HF radio be alright for running your 2 meter radio, okay for running your broadcast radio and it's okay to uh, um, run it in the shack on I think on 40 meters it didn't make a great deal of difference did it um, but on the others it, uh, it, it, generated, uh, it generated some noise so just let's go through that again so I'll just reconnect the 857 to the uh, to the battery and reconnect my dummy load to my power supply
I'm just going to pull a couple of amps or so, three amps or so. Okay. The power supply is off at the moment. You barely hear the WIA news. Turn the power supply on. A little birdie as the uh, as the oscillator in the power supply sweeps past, <laughs> or, uh, or one of the sprogs from it sweeps past that uh, particular frequency, but doesn't seem to bother. Uh, doesn't seem to bother 40 meters. That's probably from the power supply. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so you can probably probably get away with it running it in the shack while you were uh, having a turn around on 40 metres. Doesn't seem to bother 10 megs very much. That's interesting. On the popular part of 20, minute, 20 meters in WA, generates a lot of noise. Tune up the band a bit and it's not there. And it's not there. Yeah, I'd say... Uh, for practical purposes, uh, you, you might be lucky, but uh, 20 metres looks like it's, uh, it's not usable with this power supply running in the, uh, in the shack. 18... Forget that one. <laughs> 21, 9 plus, 24, 28, 6 metres. S4, S4 peaking up to S5 on uh, on six meters. Uh, well, I thought when it was connected to the radio, you could get away with that. Uh... The power supply is that a big signal? Well, that's a pretty big signal, 51.8. I think what the uh, repeater frequency is. Oh, uh, that's 51.845. I think what I'll do is I'll put a tone on in a little while, an audio tone, and uh, I'll just see if that's a bug running in my house somewhere. <laughs> S9, that's actually a signal on six meters. Turn the power supply on. It does create a bit of noise on there. So yeah, that's the power supply creating that noise. So yeah, six meters, not really. Broadcast band. Uh, there's no noise indicated. I won't tune into a radio station. 
in case I'm, in case YouTube uh, pick up the music and uh, mute the soundtrack as I did before when I did one of these aircraft. Mm, doesn't seem to bother the aircraft band. Oh, and two meters. There we go. So that's the. Uh, so that's just going through again, looking at the uh, the the, ra the noise it radiates. So that's the difference between the noise it radiates and uh, the noise it actually produces if you connect the radio to the power supply on the different bands. Bottom line is, um, don't buy one of those to run your HF radio, I would say. Don't buy the MP8 uh, 3800 to, uh, to run your HF radio. But uh, uh, certainly, it, um, I haven't got it loaded up much. It's about 3.3 three and, three and 3 .3 amps or something like that at 13.8 uh, volts. Uh, not, not pulling very much power out of it at the moment, but it certainly seems happy enough generating that power. I haven't loaded it up to, uh, it's, uh, it's not even warm to the touch. I haven't loaded it up to what uh, uh, the, uh, the specification leaflet says it can deliver. I don't have a load big enough uh, to do that, so um, I just have to take their word for it. <laughs> ah, okay, alright, well, I uh, hope you found that interesting or useful, and... Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.